<sighs> Solo defending boys feels fucking bad. What's going on boys and girls? It is Munchich Gaming here again and welcome back to the channel. Now this clip is from a couple days ago um, and literally those few words that you heard at the start of the video that was all I said within this five minute clip so I'm just recording over it now just to give you a bit of a backstory. I was so fucking pissed off and so tired at this point in time. Um, so what happened is that I just finished uploading a video. I'd hopped into bed. It was like six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. So I was so fucking tired. I'd been awake for like 20 hours. Got a message on Discord. Chill said that um, a tribe had come over and sniped a lot of our teams, like a lot of important teams. So I quickly jumped out of bed, got online, um, and for some fucking reason, Chill wasn't online anymore. Hoping they don't have any Z or uh, they don't notice that I'm coming in behind them. And uh, yeah, I guess the rest is history. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I hope you guys enjoy. Six million ways to mob, choose one. So after the last video, a lot of you guys DM me about my teleporter build and um, I thank you guys for that because a lot of you guys pointed out a massive flaw in my teleporter and that was because it was all metal and it'd be really susceptible to cannon rating. So today we're going to be upgrading it all to tech and I'm going to try vault drop these pillars as well but I have no idea how I'm going to be able to do that but uh, I guess we'll get it done. Anyway, I'll see you guys once it's all finished. And there we have it, we've uh, successfully teched out our teleporter, so as you can see, all up here is all tech. The problem I was having is I didn't know how I could drop the vaults in here and keep the pillars as well, so if you guys know how to do that, definitely leave it in the comments below or DM me on Discord because I have no fucking idea how to do that. Uh, I tried a bunch of different ways and yeah, just just wasn't working. Now, I'm not too sure if I need to tech out the foundations as well. I may just end up doing it anyway, just because, why not? Um, but for now, I think metal is going to be fine. So, this is what I did with the bridge. As you can see, we've got the tech bridge here all the way down. Three bridges into a ramp, and then basically just down here. And then everything just walks down this pathway here. It should work. It should work. <laughs> it should. Uh, and I'm probably going to put like a, uh, a ramp down here as well just so nothing gets caught. The day has finally come boys. A lot of you, I know a lot of you have been wanting this and it, the day's finally come so I'm just going to pick this up and uh, we're going to go hop on over in this direction. Now some of you might know what's going on right now, some of you probably don't. We're finally going to be merging with Six, he's going to be coming over and joining us. Uh, now the reason for this is because Chill no longer wants to play anymore because uh, of the time zone differences. I completely understand. Um, he's been playing alone for like 8 hours a day and yeah, it just it wouldn't be fun just because of our time zones. So we're getting Six into the tribe now. And uh, I'm over here now helping him move in. I can get through. Alright, so here we are. We're going to be teleporting all of his stuff back to our base and um, happy days, I guess. Anyway, just wanted to let you guys know and uh, yeah, you'll be seeing more of Six in my videos. Let's go. Now before that clip, what you guys didn't see because I was offline, um, those guys have been sniping all of our fucking teams. Like they had killed so much shit. Let me just pull it up here. Uh, not that... Here it is. So as you can see, they were killing all our tappies. They killed all of our uh, alley gatchers. And uh, what else? Fire Wyvern, alley gatcher, tapajara, tapajara, a bunch of babies. Like they killed so much shit. I think they killed like two or three gigas as well. Um, yeah, so they were just raining fucking comp arrows on our teams. No one was online and then Chill logged in, I think, and then um, I think they left and then they came back and then that's when that happened. But to prevent that from happening, I need to move out the turret towers and buff them up and then we need to put another layer of turret towers like outwards of that as well. Just so people can't just walk up to our gate because as, as you guys saw from the clip, they were literally, they were like 
all the way up here shooting our team so like as you can see you can see all of our teams from here and they were just sniping them from here it's actually insane so yeah i have to move all the turret towers out this is going to be a pain in the ass um but it has to be done like i've spent already like two hours just mapping out how i'm gonna lay them out and uh let me tell you guys it is not fun at all so yeah i'm also doing this solo so it's gonna be a bit of a fucking hassle but it's got to be done, I guess, and <laughs> unless I just want to let all of our teams fucking die. So yeah, I'm not, like, this one here, I was originally going to put it out here, but then it was too far from the main base, so I had to pull it in more, and yeah, there's a lot of, lot of fucking fiddling, so I think I've got it set now, so now it's just time to uh, build the new turret towers, I guess. And there we go, fucking two hours later, I finally finished building this fucking thing, and it's still not done because I can't actually uh, craft and place flexible cables at the moment. I'm not too sure why, it's like a bug with the engram, so the sky towers aren't running at this moment, but um, I am hoping that someone who can craft them can craft them for me and then I can place them. But uh, yeah, there you go our first 100 turret turret tower up and running and this fucking retard is painting it pink Ugh. now if you guys um can notice i've actually lowered all my settings because i don't know why but all of a sudden my computer cannot handle arc so on like epic settings so i had to lower all my settings i think it actually looks better like this to be completely honest because like the desert can be like really weird colors like with epic settings so yeah i'm actually liking this better but anyway just to explain what we've got we've got four high volt dropped around the bottom uh the turret tower is about 21 high i believe it's got five rows of hatch frames and it's about half and half of tech turrets and heavy turrets now um because of the way this is placed um i've actually got two sides that are pretty heavy and Pretty much, I think, wherever you soak this tower from, you're going to be soaking both sides of the tower, which is really fucking nice. I really like this placement. Um, I might even... I might even incorporate that on the other towers as well. Yeah, I might actually do that. Anyway, there's a the first tower of many... Uh, well, not really many, of three. <laughs> um, Sky Tower not running, as I said, but yeah, on to the next one. Anyway, let me know what you guys think as well. Uh, I've got the windmill at the back here. I'm probably just going to do a windmill at the back of every one of them. And uh, there we go. On to the next one. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever spent so long building fucking anything in this game. Than I have spent on these fucking towers. What the fuck. The sun's out. It's almost fucking lunchtime boys. I haven't gone to sleep. What the fuck. Holy shit. Okay, um, I don't even want to think about how long this has taken. I didn't even realize the fucking time. There we go, they're done. Three fucking big fuck off towers with the sky towers. Have I put bullets in these? Please say I have. Okay, I haven't. And I still need to redo the uh, spam as well. Oh my god, kill me now. Absolutely, actually kill me now. What the fuck? But there you go, there are the turret towers, boys. I'm actually... <laughs> I'm so happy they're fucking done. There they are. They actually look really nice. And by the way, 100% original idea right here. I, I made this all up myself. I uh, need to finish off painting them black. Whoever the fuck was doing that, I can't even remember. I'm so delirious right now. But uh, yeah, they look very fucking nice. Obviously, I need to move out the wall. Like, bring it out to the, uh, the turret towers, and then I need to redo all the spam. But, I'm um, just happy that we got those up. And then, like I was saying, I, just, I think I was saying this originally, like, at the start of the video. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Not at the start of the video, but earlier when I started doing these, um, I want to do another layer of turret towers out here. But they're just going to be small ones. Maybe, like, I might even just put light turrets on them. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, super happy with this. They look fucking sick. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, I'm going to finish off with this sky tower. And then um, I don't know if I'm going to fix the spam or if I'm just going to go to sleep. It's fucking lunchtime, boys. The wife's going to go to work in like five hours. So I'm going to be up by then to uh, look after Montage Jr. So uh, yeah. 
Never fucking doing this again. Now, if you're wondering where I got this quetz, I was like so desperate for a quetz because as you guys saw, I started off on RG and that shit was fucking all like trying to build these with an RG, like especially the sky towers, like landing up there and stuff was so fucking intolerable. So I just had to reach out to someone and fucking trade for uh, a quetz. So we got this one here. And uh, we actually got a bunch of tech quets eggs as well. So we might as well go ahead and hatch those. Uh, where are they? Here they are. Got four of them. As you can see, we got all the uh, tech rex eggs from our rexes. Anyway, let's drop these down and uh, we'll see what we get. Really like that pink color. It looks fucking sick. Here we go. Oh my god, these things are sexy. Pink black and pink actually i like this black and pink one this looks mad well these two anyway they're black and pink right yeah all right let's check the stats 1488 weight very nice are they all 1488 yeah 1488 1488 looks like we got all the stats and we got two males two females so we got uh, breeding pair, two breeding pairs actually. So uh, yeah, super fucking happy about that. All right, let's move these out and uh, we'll get on to the next thing. Okay, time to add to our snail collection a bit more. All right, let's go. Bye, zero six. All right, there we go. We're out of points. I think we used about 10K points on snails. So uh, let's put them all Let's put them all into, let's put them all into their enclosure now. Oh no, I fucking fell in here. Oh, this is, <laughs> no. Wait, can I transfer tool in like cross one? Yeah, I should be able to. Barely an inconvenience. There we go, beautiful. All right, this is the last one. Throw you in and we're pretty much full. Like, holy shit. Me and Six just bought, like, use all of our points on snails. Actually, now we could fit a few more over here. Yeah. But, um, we're approaching tame limit, as you can see, 365 out of 500. And the biggest <laughs> the biggest reason for that is the snails and also the velinos. Like, we have over, like, I'd say close to 200 velinosaurs, but, um... Yeah, these snails are fucking out of control. Anyway, I'd go fix up the spam. I need to f figure out why these generators are running. What? Why are these running? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot of sh do a lot of base maintenance. Got to fix up the spam, redo the um, the fence, like the wall thing. Uh, I need to move it out more, and then I need to figure out that uh, these generators. I'm not too sure what's going on there. There we go, boys. Ah, uh, finally all nice and clean. Let's have a look from the sky. Just grab my wyvern. Don't mind that doorway there, because uh, <laughs> I removed the ramp, and for some reason the gate was snapped to the ramp, so it got demolished. So yeah, big fucker rip there. Anyway, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, ooh. spam is looking even better. So before, as you guys saw, I like rotated the spam to make it go with the gates, but this time I just made it go all the same direction. I think this looks a hundred times better. This actually looks fucking amazing. Oh my. I might actually even out this, this row here, like make it staggered properly instead of just randomly staggered like, like it is. But, um, yeah, that's a looking very fucking nice boys. Oh God, I have something nice to think about tonight. <laughs> so I've done the gates, as you can see, I just need to move all the velos up to the uh, gates. Now, I don't want to put the billboards because I found out that the billboards don't, like the velos can't actually shoot underneath the billboards. So I'm just going to leave it like this, I think. I need to do some testing to see if velos can shoot through railings because I swear they can shoot through railings because I've seen people with like velo turret towers with fucking like, they were all protected by railings, but they could still shoot through. So yeah, we're gonna have to test that out. But definitely want to put the velos here, or if not at the bottom, then I might do like some, maybe like some ramps up, and then I'll sit the uh, rock golems and the velos on that so that they can shoot over the gates. And this is the last one I'm putting up. 
Oh, can we fit? Come on. Fit fucking every other gate. Come on. End my misery. Chuck you on turret mode. Aggressive. Ignore group whistles. Oh, finally. Finally. Now, a bunch of shit spawned over here, so everything's not fucking lined up properly anymore, so it looks kind of ugly, but... It serves its purpose, it really does. So uh, let's just fly along now. So we can have a little squiz, a little gander. Now over here I started off strong, like I had a velo every fucking gate. But then I shortly realized that we don't have enough males to do that. So um, yeah, I started spreading them out like so over here. And then they spread out over here as well. Like I said, shit was spawning, so they started killing it. And then eventually I just started using all females and then mixing in males, so yeah. But it doesn't really matter, we've got like over 100 eggs in our fridges and we've still got a shit ton of female breeders still like just going. I think I might even turn them off to be completely honest because they keep filling up our hatcheries and then like random eggs are just hatching wherever they drop. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably do that. We're going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think of these turret towers in the comment section below. And as always, stay fucking awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.